Hey YouTube, this is Alexander, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get blink feed from the HTC One M8 and M7 onto your Nexus 4 or really any Android device running 4.4 or higher. So let's go ahead and get started. Before we go ahead and jump right on into it, I want to go ahead and give some disclaimers. So you must be rooted and have super user permissions in order for this to work. Uh, there are bugs, so uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at some of those. It only works on Android 4.4 or higher. Uh, some ROMs may be supported and some ROMs may not. Results may vary across devices for this entire tutorial. And uh, proceed at your own risk, as always, with ROM and root videos. So Blinkfeed is basically a social media and news aggregator. Now what that means is it'll go ahead and combine various social networks that you've signed into as well as news sources into one easy to digest news feed. So you will need to download one file which will be down below in the description. It's going to take you to the page where the download file is actually available, uh, an XDA page. Thank you to all the XDA members uh, who who volunteered to uh, put their time into this uh, little project here. So just go ahead and head on over there and download the version AHTC Blink Feed. Now next you're going to want to reboot into recovery however you'd like to do that. So assuming you've already downloaded the uh, Blink Feed uh, little uh, .zip file, just reboot into recovery. Now you're going to want to go ahead and uh, hit install zip. Choose zip from SD card. Uh, here on my Nexus 4, I need to choose the zero and slash directory. Uh, then I go to download and I see HTC Blinkfeed version 8. Now, you don't have to clear the cache or the Dalvik cache or anything like that, but you can if you want to. Uh, I've done it multiple times without clearing the cache and it works just fine. Now, basically, you're going to want to go all the way back until you see reboot system now. Hit that and your system is going to reboot. You should now have Blinkfeed after you've uh, unlocked your device. It might ask you what launcher you want to go ahead and use. Uh, if you just hit the Blink Feed launcher, you should be good to go. Uh, now, there are a few things that are a little messed up, though. Uh, the dock and the search bar are a little messed up. They're a little off-centered, and something's going on wrong with the dock. So we can go ahead and fix that. Uh, this is this part is specifically for a Nexus 4, but you might be able to get away trying to tweak some of the settings I show here uh, on your device running 4.4 or higher. So we can fix that by going into the Root Explorer, uh, going into System, uh, and then the ed, uh, edit the build.prop. So you want to find where it says ro.sf.lcd underscore density and change that from 320 to 340. Now, if you're running a device that's not a Nexus 4, you can try just adding 20 to whatever number is already there, but do so at your own risk. Uh, I'm not sure what the DPI uh, is for other devices. Basically, you're going to want to do that and then save and exit and go. Uh, you'll get a backup once you do that and then reboot and you should be good to go. The borders and search bar will be fixed. Everything will look neat and tucked uh, nicely. Now you can leave the soft keys however you like them, but if you want that full HTC One M8 experience, you can actually change those soft keys. Uh, basically, you want to open up soft keys, the app, navigate to online gallery, select HTC One M8 pack, uh, just go ahead and check it and it'll reboot. Now you have the entire HTC One M8 look uh, as much as possible for now. You've got the buttons, you have the proper launcher, and you've got Blink Feed working. You can visit the settings to check out the settings in Blink Feed. Weather crashes when you uh, when you try to press on it and open it uh, from Blink Feed, but it'll still refresh in the background. You can actually visit your device's settings and uh, scroll down to accounts and add the weather if it's not already there. Uh, if you open the app, it also crashes from the app drawer, so just a few bugs going on there. Now, you have Twitter for sharing so far. Uh, there's not much else in here. The, the devs who are working on this haven't really gotten anything else working so far, uh, as of this video anyway, uh, but stay tuned uh, and go over and check out the XDA thread every now and then to see what is working and what isn't working. Uh, you can add content just fine. Adding content works fine, whether it be your TV gossip or, or news or whatever you guys like to follow sports, it is working here. Uh, there is also the option to change your wallpaper, add apps uh, and widgets, manage home screen pages and all that if you just long press on your device's home screen or screen basically. Widgets work just like Sense 6 where you can go ahead and choose which ones you want to place and just tap them and they will appear on the screen that you're uh, editing. You can drag home screens to set as a home screen or to remove them and you actually need to drag the Blink Feed uh, home screen and make that your default home screen, uh, set it as your home if you want the uh, clock to actually appear in Blink Feed so just mind uh, that. And uh, you can hide apps, change the grid size, and rearrange apps from the app drawer just like the Sense6 launcher. 
So that's going to go ahead and pretty much wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Now, Blinkfeed is really, really cool, and it's actually it's actually kind of nice to get to know it before you buy an HTC device. Uh, hopefully, HTC in the future will make this available to more devices without having to do this whole root and mod type of thing. But it's a really cool little social media and news aggregator that I definitely check out uh, if you're running a rooted device and don't mind the bugs. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe down there for more, and uh, stay tuned because I'll be having more videos. So thanks for watching. Peace.